I have never seen Wyoming. I didn't really know what to expect. Have you climbed before? Never. And I'm scared of heights. Let's go, baby! <laughs> Three two-person teams of Bronco Ambassadors. Today, you're headed for a mountain biking challenge. Oh. Okay. Competing across the state of Wyoming. Here we go. Have to ride with me. I'm like really scared. How to partner. Wham! Different challenges. Exploring the outdoors, fishing. Whoa, hey oh! There you go. <laughs> Hiking, rock climbing. <laughs> Horses. Should we go ride? Wyoming's kind of got it all. You've already won once you stepped into these incredible lands. The hips started to get a lot looser. It brings a little wildness to you. This morning, we woke up at the cozy campground. I took some photos. The views were insane. The campground was right along a river and really beautiful mountains and clouds. It was really picturesque. All right, what's on the agenda today? Today, you're headed for a mountain biking challenge. Uh -oh. <laughs> then you'll meet up with Teton Adaptive Sports to learn more about the amazing work they're doing to provide access to outdoor sports for people with disabilities. Nice. That is so cool. I think it sounds like a great day. Yeah. We got this. Well, don't worry. I was just fine sleeping on the ground. It was totally, <laughs> don't worry about it. So I can't imagine what we're in for for today. Good. Oh my gosh. Let me add it. Let me see. Activity. Today, you are driving out to Steamboat Point for a very exposed climbing challenge. Have you climbed before? Never. And I'm scared of heights. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Hey, come on, I need some all right, support. All right. oh, yeah. Good morning. Today you're going to be fly fishing in Fremont Canyon Ooh. with cowboy drifters. Here we go. Ready to check off some items on the list. Uh, we're gonna get a tattoo. And there's a whole list of random things that we still need to achieve. We're fully committed. I'm, I'm 34 years old, I don't have a tattoo, but I've never been more ready to get a tattoo than this trip. We've been working on a country song. Wild lands where Broncos roam. But soul and Rome don't rhyme. Soul and Rome? If you sing it with some soul, it will. OK, OK, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Off the road onto the gravel, big white clouds, tall peaks is where I'll travel. Wyoming has my soul, wild lands where Broncos roam. From canyon cliffs to the rivers below, I feel at home wherever I go. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Killed it. <laughs> Woo! All right, we're Dude, good. I hope the other teams are having as much fun Dude, as us. Dude, they should be. Yeah. We headed to the Bridge of Teton National Forest to do some mountain biking. 100 points! Easy money! Today, it was pretty important for us to really catch up on points. Um, obviously, yesterday, it was a lot harder to get those points while we were fishing. So while we were in Jackson and while we were mountain biking, we tried to get as much as we could. So um, even for me, just getting things down, like the bunny hop and the willy. Look at him. Yo! Can we get okay. points for every time you land it? If you have to land it. Yeah, I don't think I was moving enough. That counts. It's good. <laughs> oh, that was, that was nice. You got it. There you go. Hey, how's it going, guys? <laughs> yeah, welcome. We're going to ride here in Bridger Teton National Forest. Have some fun today. Should be able to see some good views and uh, should probably get rolling because it's starting to rain here. <laughs> we'll just go ride some fun trails here. Here we come. There's a little bit of mountains poking out there. We had an amazing riding session. Cassie showed us the ropes, took us on some really fun trails. Um, obviously, Michaela has a ton of experience, so it was nice to be able to be partnered with someone who has a huge amount of expertise. Um, I feel like I did my part as someone with not a ton of experience, but I felt pretty comfortable on a bike. Tyree, you're killing it. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. that. Just keeping up, like, no problem. 
Keep going into the woods. Sweet. Nice. Nicely done. I'm not like, this is gonna be where, like, I'm like actually gonna be scared. I'm very okay. scared about this. When you feel that feeling of fear, what helps you like continue pushing yourself? For me, usually like when I, once I'm doing it, everything else disappears. Like everything goes to the background and I'm, I'm very much in that moment and that focus of like flow state, if you will. Is this where we're climbing? We're climbing up on there. Oh my God. Nice to meet you, Kayla. We're gonna do some rock climbing, I take it. Yeah. Well, we're gonna head up to Steamboat Point here. That's what this is called? Yep. Okay. Um, we'll probably start climbing on one of the boulders out in front and then move up to one of the main walls. How big are the main walls? A um, couple hundred feet. A couple hundred feet? <laughs> yeah. Does that feel nice and snug? We can go tighter. Tighter. Okay. I mean, All right. I'm still terrified, but... No one's off the battle. Oh! Yeah, there you go. Stay there you go. You got it. I was super proud of Kayla because she had never climbed before. Excellent. You're cruising now. Oh my gosh. She absolutely crushed it. You're doing great. Just stick with it. You're more than halfway. This is like severe problem solving. Yeah. Nice. Almost there, Kayla. Killing it. Tap the anchor, you're good. And you're officially a rock climber. Ding, 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 ding. All right, nice. Awesome, Kayla. To overcome fear, not fall, all of it. I mean, I just couldn't be prouder of the partner that I had. You did great. I don't know how to cry. Uh, these are happy tears, not because I was scared. I'm not scared of nothing, y'all. I'm just gonna knock all four out that you've got hung. Cool. I'm gonna belay on this one. We're gonna do a belay lesson. Let's do it. Yep, Let's belay do it. lesson. Up with your right hand and down with your left at the same time. Oh, it's a workout. Been a professional ice climber uh, for I guess a little, almost 15 years, and Cody, Wyoming's been my home, and I can't I can't imagine living anywhere else. I grew up in California, moved to Wyoming in 1997. You know, I moved to Cody because it was just full of adventure and growing up as a child, my dad and I hunted fishes all the time. You know, it wasn't going and walking 100 yards off the road. It was always, we're gonna walk down this goalie and then five miles up over here and we're gonna get away from as many people as possible. And so I think I was maybe about 16, 17. I was like, I, I, I gotta live here. Like this place is really cool. Ice climbing is a pretty spectacular sport, and my passion has been first ascents. So climbing ice, finding ice that's never been climbed before. And I'm on the road to almost do 300 first ascents, uh, which means that nobody's ever seen them, climbed them, whatever it might be. And then once you do that, you get to name them, which is kind of cool. But ice climbing became my escape, and it wasn't my passion anymore, and that becomes really dangerous when an activity that can kill you becomes your escape. I had to make a, a choice about uh, 15 years ago um, to live or survive, and um, I had to jump back into this waterfall knowing that there was a good chance I would die. It was 50-50. Surviving and being allowed to, to kind of move forward from that, I realized I just need to give 100% of myself to these other things in my life, whether it was my daughter, whether it was work, whatever it might be, it changed my life. Good morning. I'm for a little climb with my daughter. My daughter has been a driving force for me, um, as well as my wife, and changing my life. Um, and we're the perfect balance, you know. I love my life, I love my family, and uh, I love being able to live a life in Wyoming and sharing those experiences with them. Aaron completely crushed it on one of the hardest things I've ever seen someone climb. And the scenery was breathtaking with the clouds and the fog rolling in. We needed points, 
So we dug deep, we endured the rain on a really hard route, kind of sparked a little bit of rock climbing to me again, because I haven't done it for a long time. I'm so proud of you. They are not winning. They are not winning. Since today was the one mountain biking day, I wanted to take full advantage and get as many points as possible for our team, especially since yesterday with the fishing, we didn't do so good. So I actually went out on my own, rode a black diamond trail, double black diamond trail. Oh. Hiked up some more, did a toboggan, got some points. Hit a tabletop, got some points. Shropped a berm as best as I could in the conditions. Got some points. My role in the mountain bike scene has shifted over the years. I started off racing cross country and road and then transitioned into racing the Downhill World Cup circuit. Did that for about nine years. Now I would call myself a free rider slash adventure slash lifestyle athlete. Um, still have to send it, still have to look good. <laughs> I feel like my adventurous spirit um, comes by honestly. My father is a very accomplished sailor. He would race across the Atlantic and my grandparents were also quite adventurous. And um, I want to have stories to tell my grandchildren just like they've told me. So um, I think that's what drives me the most deep down is just kind of wanting to live like they've lived. <laughs> Are you writing to the... If you were to ask anyone else what my greatest accomplishment would be, they would probably say Fur to Girls, which is a music video I made. Her last whip just went viral. Present day, all the girls be on fire though. It's a parody, but it's all, it's definitely not a parody. It's a rap. And it was at a time when Me Too movement was happening and women's voices were actually just starting to be heard and respected in a way that they hadn't before. So it was a bit of uncharted territory and it had a really massive impact. So I would say giving people confidence in themselves, I would say is like on a deeper level, I guess, when I feel like the most purposeful. We are in Cache Creek and we are about to meet up with Teton Adaptive. They provide access to people with disabilities to get out into nature, out into the outdoors, and our task today was to learn how to use the adaptive bikes. So these are called the bowhead reaches, and they are the most fun because they have all this freedom of movement. Whoa. So you can Whoa. lean them side that to side. So crazy. It allows the opportunity to get in in some pretty adventurous areas so really the goal in the end is how do we make our public lands work for everyone cool yeah i love that that's Super amazing Thank you. should we go ride let's yeah ride. let's do it let's do this <laughs> i really hope it don't fall i'm excited for both of the bronco ambassadors to be able to get on these and see what they're all about but i'm a little extra excited for michaela because she comes from such a mountain bike background oh my god do you have like abs of steel i have no abs, no abs. what how do you do that <laughs> both him and i are doing this with like 70-80% of our body paralyzed. Insane. Wow. Just... Yeah. <laughs> you kind of zip, zip. Caitlin's getting that tool. You kind of feel it. So Caitlin, that was perfect. Slow and easy. Oh, that's so hard. We learned about the different mechanics of the bike. We then actually got to go with Joe and Jack, which is one of the participants on the trail, and just get to see not only how fun it is, but also how challenging it can be to just sort of get started. I was trying to like rewire my brain a little bit to forget everything I knew about mountain biking. I think Tyree did a lot better than me. He kind of just like hopped on and like was like, Wah! like, yeah, he killed it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh, you, thank you. We're a pretty small organization here trying to do a lot, and the bulk of our funding comes from individual donors. And it's pretty amazing to see how far we can take that funding with the goal of just trying to shift the perspective and make sure that they know that life is awesome and okay, they can have a really positive outlook if they're just given the opportunity. 
it was just a really, really amazing time with those guys and we actually got to give them a grant from the Bronco Wild Fund of $20,000 to help them get even more people with disabilities out into the outdoors. For getting people outdoors responsibly and just all the amazing work that you all are doing. Thank and you so much. Yeah. Like, thank you both. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Now we'll just be able to share that much more with people with disabilities and their friends and families. So this gift is massive to help us further our mission. The thought of people not having access to something just because of their physical being breaks my heart. And it goes for everyone. <laughs> the outdoors is like my whole family and like me. It's like a lifesaver. Should be for everyone. What else? That's it? Oh, okay. You just need me to cry? <laughs> Are we really about to get tattoos? It won't hurt that bad, dude. You've absolutely done worse stuff. Right. Yeah. I bet you Mulkey and Kayla got tats. Ready for this? Don't go back. Hello, honey. Hey, honey. Um, it's a tattoo shop. I am contemplating where to put the tattoo. I think that you will cry like a baby if it's on your ankle. <laughs> it's a very painful spot to get it. So I wouldn't embarrass yourself. All right. Nobody likes to cry, baby. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Bye. <laughs> I think just on the bottom of my toe. On the bottom? I think I might just do that. Ooh. Is that going to hurt? Because I want to surprise people and be like, boom, tattoo. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Bam. Well, there's no going back now, guys. <laughs> the things I do to make sure Andrew and Lyle don't win. I keep forgetting I got this cowboy hat on. <laughs> That's the best part. It didn't hurt that much. Anything for points. This is 1,200. Just don't cry. <sighs> All right, well, that escalated quickly. We have a Bronco tattoo for 600 points and a Wyoming tattoo for 600 points. I'm, you guys are making me, like, really scared. I'll, I'll run one with a line. OK. Quick. I'm super scared. Don't be scared. Just no, what is it? Ah. It wasn't that bad, was it? No, it wasn't so bad. Bronco. Well, thanks for doing it for the points. You're a great teammate. Thank you. Now let's go win this thing. Yeah, let's go. I finally got to get my boots wet. Oh, hey yo! Here you go. Woo. One attempt, and that kind of blew my mind. You killed it. I just want to win it's so bad. You think? We're an unstoppable force. Points, 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 points! Let's go get more! Well, guess that counts. That wasn't what I was out here for. Okay. That counts. It's good. Can we get points for every time he does it? I bet you Mulkey and Kayla got tats. They had to. Yeah. I would feel just so terrible beating them by like 4,000 points. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't. They would never live it down. I don't no know way. Could, I don't know if we could be friends no after way. that kind of just landslide. <laughs>